despite all the freaking tough conditions today, um, had to make some changes, had to think, you know, think a little while, get a little discouraged in, in the middle there of trying to figure out what I was going to do. I just, uh, just went back to some of the old, the old, uh, techniques that, that worked for me and the pressure was really high. It was a full moon. The tides dropped out. So the area I wanted to fish didn't have any water in it. We went in there and it, there wasn't a single fish. We couldn't get our kayaks in there. So, uh, had to, you know, I had to put together some things and I pulled one out of my ass today for sure. So, um, knowing the pressure was high, we went straight to bait. Most of them were caught on uh, frozen shrimp and a quarter ounce jig head sitting on the bottom. Uh, I did catch a couple of finger mullet, which is what I wanted to do uh, all day, but um, I just caught those couple of finger mullet and it was, uh, it was enough to catch a couple nice reds. So the rest of them came from shrimp. One of my repeat customers, Keith, asked me if I was available today and at first I wasn't and then I did become available and and I told him man you know the pressure is going to be really high uh, I'm probably going to fish just for an hour or two if you want to meet me out there for free just just come on out there you know we'll go fish so he got on a few nice fish too so it's always good to have backup plans but you know like I said I was getting a little discouraged right right at the beginning and uh and I just you know I worked through that and and found the fish they were stacked up so i'm starting to book trips for december november booked uh booked up really good i got like a couple days at the end of november that are still left the very end if, if y'all want to book a trip all my information is in the video description and the comment section thanks for watching let's go get those lines tight Shallow? Yeah. <laughs> You see any redfish down in there, man, or what? I know they're right there. Don't bullshit me. <laughs> I know they're in there. <sighs> A little bit better one. <laughs> he ought to make slot. Maybe, maybe, I think so. Oh yeah, he's slot. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> yeah, he definitely slot. <laughs> hey, you got my mullet, you some bitch. <laughs> know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, I seen y'all in there. Four and a half. Pretty fat dude. Oh, it's a drum. Okay. Where you where you want to head to the lake or what? Wherever you think would be better. 
I, I think we can uh, go into the big lake. It'll have enough water in it right where it opens up. I figure we start off right here. Okay. Until I, unless I see something interesting somewhere else. I thought something was on there. It's probably gonna be a drum. Oh, that's a red, red fish. <laughs> He may not cut the mustard. <laughs> 19 and 3 quarters. <laughs> he just needs to eat a couple more shrimp and he'll he'll be big enough. <laughs> Another little guy. <laughs> Is it a drum or a red? It's a drum. <laughs> He's not little for a drum. Uh, 14 inches. Yeah, he's about 17. Another good drum. <laughs> oh, this is a better fish. Yeah, there you go, man. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I got a limit of reds <clears throat> and uh, four drum. I let that one go. He was keeper, but he was a little bit 
you know, too close. Not not enough meat on him. I'm interested to, to go fish those birds, man. Okay. But, I mean, they're right here. <laughs> We're catching them. Nice. We're catching them right here, yeah. The only thing that I would like to see those birds do is group up together. You know, five or six of them hovering real close to the water. Uh -huh. That's when they're on a school of reds. Yeah, right now, I, you know, they're just diving on bait. I'm not... I'm not noticing any blow-ups or anything, but I'll bet you there's plenty of fish out there. <laughs> oh, they went red. Let's go ahead and stop. <laughs> Look at that muddy left. Whew, that was a good size red. And another one. Son of a gun, dude. Freaking mud stirs all around me. School of red sitting right there. <laughs> I went a little too close, I guess. I wasn't to the birds yet. Yeah, this ain't no 18-incher right here, though. Ooh, I think I was too short. There's some good ones in here. You see it? He's eating my shrimp. Did he eat it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's a slot. You just have to just steadily look. It, it's going to happen again. <clears throat> I sight casted him <laughs> with a shrimp. Yeah, the. Do you believe that? No, I, I don't go by any of that. It's for this reason, and and today the pressure is extremely high. I really think that artificial would be tough. You know, but they're moving around. I mean, I see them moving. They're not just sitting on the bottom. In that splash out there. If you see, did you see a big splash? It was a big splash. Yeah, it's a red. They're they're in there. They're all out in there. <laughs> yeah, there's one. They just did something right there. Oh. <laughs> That wasn't a backlash, that was a professional overrun. <laughs> it doesn't back, this reel doesn't backlash on me, but the braid will catch up, uh, kind of hang it. Especially after you catch a fish that pulled hard, he, he may dig, that line will dig down into your spool. And if you don't fix it, which I don't usually, then it'll do that. slot. 